Hey gang. Okay, uh, sorry I can't really get a good look at, or a good shot of this place over here, but that red barn looking place is actually a house, and it's where my neighbor lives. In which, I have to tell you guys in all honesty, I'm really thinking this guy must be a serious hardcore Christian. And the reason why I say that is because, well, well, the first time I met the guy, you know, he was he was just trying to help out with getting stuff done around here and everything like that with Mr. London and I. And usually, protocol with people is, you know, it's like, you know, how do I, you know, how do I talk to certain people? And I mean, I'm not trying to be. I'm not trying to sound, make it sound like, you know, like, yeah, I'm going to talk like a total jerk. It's like, but, but to me, it's like, you know, what kind of subjects can I talk around this person without them getting all offended and everything like that? So, you know, I try to listen to them, listen to what they talk about and everything like that. And, I, and, I, and you know, when I talk to them another time, I go, okay, I know what to talk about, what not to talk about. That's cool. But this guy is like a serious, hardcore Christian. And the reason why I say that is because... Well, the first time I met the guy, Mr. Lund and I were over on the other, were, were over on that side, you know, just just cleaning up some stuff over there and putting stuff in the burning barrel. And Mr. Lund used, well, what we can call uh, colorful language around the guy. And <laughs> and you you probably heard of people who sit there and say say that you know when when people's butt clenches, they kind of make a weird face. That's kind of like what this guy was doing. All, all of a sudden, it's like his his face just clenched up, like like he was he was basically saying, you know, I was like, I don't want to hear this kind of talk, and I'm like, I'm like, like, what is with this guy, you know? And it's like, and it just kind of hit me the other day when he was over here, and Mr. Lund, and Mr. Lund was talking about how you know we were going to try and get more stuff done around here, you know, we're going to cut down some trees and you know get lots more work done around here, hopefully within the next week or so. And I actually heard him, the guy over there, I actually heard him say the word, heck. <laughs> and again, Mr. Lund used colorful language around him, his face kind of scrunched up and everything like that. And I'm just kind of sitting there thinking like, dude, the world is full of people who, used, who, who love to use colorful language. You know, stop trying to basically stay in your own little box and... And everything like that, and it's like just, just, just get used to the world because I can tell you, I know a lot of people. If they were to come here and hang out for the day, and if he was hanging around outside while everybody was using colorful language, his head would probably explode. <laughs> and I'm telling you, gang, it's, 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 it's crazy because I mean, I mean, most people I know who go to church. You know, yeah, they use colorful language. They may not say the Lord's name in vain, but, but you know, they'll use colorful language. But the thing is with Mr. Lund, it's like, you can't tell the guy to just not swear around people. It's who he is. It's what he is. And, you know, and I'm not going to tell him because, you know, one, you know, he's, he's trying to help get everything done around here. And two... He's a landlord, you know. I'm gonna tell him, like, like, dude, don't, don't use colorful language around the guy next door. I don't think he likes that. Cause he's probably gonna tell me, like, he doesn't care. <laughs> so anyway, gang, I'm gonna get on out of here. So much to do this weekend. Okay. So much to do. Maybe the ambulance stopped at the red light. I don't know. So much to do this weekend. <laughs> uh, hopefully, I'm gonna have a yard sale. Hopefully. Uh, if I do, we're going to see what this weather's going to do, but we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, everybody. God bless you all. If you got neighbors like this, love to hear from you guys in the comments below. So take care of yourselves. Try to be good. Try to be good to yourself. Try to be good to others. Hope you have an awesome weekend. And if you like my videos, please feel free to subscribe. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Take care. And as always, stay strong and rock on.